Hello all, this is Jenna Correa. We're talking about creating a first-person science of reproduction, where the woman herself accesses her deepest knowledge about how it is for her in reproduction, and specifically in this new uh, reproduction industry, uh, where she can be used uh, sometimes as raw material for creating new products, uh, human beings. So in the last video, I, I said the first step is locating oneself in the body. So listen to that video again. Now I'm going to read something that a woman used in the surrogacy industry told me, and then uh, how we would proceed with that to develop that into a first person science. So the, the woman said, the nurse came in one night while I was playing with Joseph, that was her newborn son whom she had been hired to bear. And the nurse said, you look like a good mother. I thought, oh my God, this is what they think of us. This is the thing that nobody tells you, that these people think that you are garbage. On the one hand, they're saying you are a saint, you are giving the gift of life. On the other hand, you're garbage because you're giving up your child. After you give birth, the sperm donor and his wife treat you like a piece of trash. You are no longer the saint. So at the time I interviewed her, I did not know this process for accessing the body's deep knowledge. If I were speaking with her now, the next thing we would do is this. I would again, she, she is located in her body, so we've slowed the process down to the body's pace. I would ask her to keep her attention in the inside of her throat, her chest, and her belly, and then ask her to invite a felt sense of all about what she's just described. And a felt sense is a bodily sense of meaning. It is uh, almost always very vague at the beginning. It's unclear, um, and, but if you stay with it in a certain way, uh, it, it takes on more and more life and begins to speak. So I would ask her to, likely her eyes are closed, sense for what all that feels like, all about that experience of the nurse coming in and saying, you look like you're a good mother. Um, and we would slow it down. I would say back perhaps a few of the words she used so that she could use them to invite that, that uh, felt sense. Um, and I, then I would ask her to describe it when she feels something. Uh, and it might be like a heaviness in her chest, um, or it might it, it, it might be uh, like this, the feel of bark on a tree uh, that she feels in her throat, or it might be a clenching in, a tightening inside her belly. But it will be some um, words that are really bodily, that you can really feel. I'd ask her to describe those feelings to me in such a way that I might be able to feel that feeling myself in my body. And uh, then, it, it's a felt sense, it's connected to a situation or a relationship. It, it is a, a felt sense, but that has meaning. So we would then keep company with that felt sense in a particular way. Uh, and I'm going to describe that in the next video. If we keep company with the felt sense in this particular way, it can begin to open and speak. So um, all of what I'm describing, one can do oneself with any situation and bring forth very important knowledge but in this series, I'm specifically talking about using this procedure 
to develop a first-person science of reproduction. Okay, see you in the next video. And uh, if you like this, please subscribe or share or comment or like or any of that interaction kind of stuff. Thanks so much.